In this video, I'm going to talk about a, an app within a governance component solutions called as Developer Compliance Center app. Uh, Developer Compliance Center app is mainly focused towards uh, app owners or admin. It's a model driven app. Uh, it's basically an app which allows your organization to identify those apps which are non-compliant with regards to some parameters. Now the parameters can be uh, uh, either it can be some missing details, missing description, uh, or uh, it can be uh, like uh, an app which may have been uh, published long back. So now it has become non-compliant because uh, it needs to undergo some review process. So we can set those processes within the center of excellence starter kit. Now, what are the compliance details which are being checked for? Uh, for which component it is being checked for? It's primarily being checked for apps, flows, connectors, bots, test of flows, environments, model driven apps, uh, <clears throat> solutions. Now, the compliance which is being checked for are uh, missing details, like if the app uh, lacks some details, like what is the business justification for the app and uh, what are the data. Uh, what, what is the uh, uh, <clears throat> security uh, that app should have? So if, if those informations are missing, then uh, then that will be flagged as non-compliant. Uh, now, um, what are the different checks which uh, happens when we say the app is uh, <clears throat> non-compliant so uh, if the flag is uh, if the app is flagged as inactive okay if the flag is uh, set to non-compliant uh, if republish is needed for the app uh, if uh, an app is suspended okay uh, if it do not provide business justification or dependency of this app with another app in another um, uh, with another app uh, what are the business impacts and what are the mitigation plan then uh, quite possible that that app may uh, uh, doesn't make sense within your organization and it needs to undergo some review process. So uh, let's uh, jump into the demo. Okay, now how do you navigate to the Developer Compliance Center app is first you need to uh, go into your specific uh, solution. So now the solution which I have, uh, which I'm talking over here is uh, governance components. And under governance component, if I go into app, I can see developer compliance center model driven app. So I click on this and I click on play. Now I have opened this app ahead of time. Now this is how the app will look like. On the left hand side, you will see a whole bunch of components for which the compliance will be assisted on. Canvas app flows, custom connected bots, flows, environments, model driven app solution. Now in Canvas app, if I click on all, it will show me all the apps which are non-compliant okay now uh, now here like if we see this this app rc generation app okay now i have put the description over here but in first responsive app there's no description so that means it is non-compliant okay that is one parameter second is this particular app is now flagged as inactive okay so it will show in the status as this flag is marked as inactive okay now uh, missing details, flagged as inactive, non-compliant, republished needed. So it will be categorized this app based on uh, some parameter. So if I click on missing details, I should uh, see uh, some uh, app which is lacking some details. Okay. If I click here, flagged as inactive, then I should see some app which has uh, which is marked as inactive. If I click on non-compliant, then uh, it should show that some app is non-compliant or if some app republish is needed for some app then it should show over here okay now currently <coughs> uh, if you see this app rc generation if i click on this app okay then it will take me into this app and it will show me all the app details okay it will show me the uh, app description it will tell me uh, this app is in compliance and has not shown a task and from a role perspective, it will show me uh, which user has that role and what connection does that app uses. If I want to know more about that app, I can go into app settings. Alternatively, I can republish. I can email the users. I can assign new owner for the app. I can delete the app. Okay. Now, uh, when I say delete the app, it will delete from the system. When I assign new owner, it will be assigned to the new owner who will take over the app. Uh, email users would be 
emailing the app users uh, uh, about uh, if you have any query with regards to that app. Uh, it's on support details. Now, in support details, it will ask you some whole bunch of information like what business justification does this app has? You know, why have you developed this app? So it, it is mainly directed towards the maker. Then maker should provide some access management related information, like how this app will be accessed, who will access this, and those sort of things. Dependency, if this app has any dependency on any solution, component, flows, apps, uh, <clears throat> bots. So you need to start putting those description over here. Uh, what is the business impact uh, if this app has gone down? Uh, is it low risk? Is it critical? Is it important? So you need to specify those. What are the data classification? Is this general, confidential, or highly confidential? And if there are any mitigation plan, we can categorize the app into collaboration, customer service, finance. Now, accordingly, this will be shown in the app catalog. Okay. And if you have any other supporting file, you can attach it over here. Okay. So this is what you can do from a Canvas app perspective. Now, what we can do from a flow perspective. Now, again, similar screen. It will show you the list of flows. Uh, all flows and then you can categorize based on whether the flow is compliant non-compliant or if it is missing details or description now if i click on all uh, and if i go in one of the flow it will show me directly over here missing description okay i go inside the flow again similar sort of screen will be shown uh, <clears throat> whether the flow is compliant no it is not compliant because it is missing description uh, uh, there's no description over here it will show you this flow is in suspended state okay and then again i click on support details and i need to specify those sort of information what i what i did specified for uh, canvas apps cancel this out uh if i click on bots then uh, it will show me again the list of bots so i have this list of bots over here i click on it and then i can see uh, again missing description what is the state of the bots uh, what environment it is created on uh, and again support details very similar to flows and canvas apps okay oh uh, i'll just cancel this out let me go into the environment and within environment again the same things it will list down the list of environments within my organization and if i go into any one of the organization uh, environments uh, then i will be able to see the SKU, the url uh, missing description support details now the support details for environment is again uh, uh, asking for some information like what business area does it belongs to what is the purpose of the environment whether it is dev test plot training what is the business impact for it and what are the business justification okay similarly you can navigate to model driven apps and it will list down all the model driven app within your organization if i if you go inside one of the app again same sort of screen will be shown going to solutions it will list on all the solutions within your organization and it will show you if any solution has a missing description so now this solution has a missing description so if i go in this solution then it will <coughs> give me a whole bunch of information like who created the solution when it was modified uh, who's the publisher and so on and so forth and also flows and apps which is used in this particular solution so that's it about developer compliance center app so this app basically allows uh, uh, an end user to make some changes within an app so that that app becomes compliant and uh, it will also surface out non-compliant apps within your organization thanks for watching